What's up guys, Omar Esop here, and in this video today, we're talking about how a belt can actually be bad for your back. Now, I know a lot of you guys like to wear a belt in order to protect your back, but if you breathe incorrectly, and if you wear it incorrectly, it could put your lower back at severe risk of injury. Well, let me explain. So, you're yoloing, you're lifting some weight, you're deadlifting, and you're thinking to yourself, hey shit, it's time to use a belt. So you want to throw the belt on. It's a good idea at a certain point. The problem is going to throw your pelvis into misalignment a lot of times. Here's why. You put on the belt, you tighten it too much, and when you breathe, you're going to breathe. Most guys will breathe too much anteriorly from the front. So what happens, from being in a neutral spine like this, we're going to tilt out like so. And from this position here, tilting your pelvis, getting kind of that anterior pelvic tilt, your lower back, it puts a tremendous amount of load. Why? Well, think about it like this. From this position right here, can we flex the glutes? From here, right, stable, to here. Can you flex your glutes if you're sticking it out? You can't. And this is a problem because you can't have hip extension. So when you go to deadlift, you get down, you're like, it's tight, let's do it. Get down like this, you're already too tight. You come up, your hips shoot up, 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 up. When it comes time to lock out, you're basically in this position right here, where once again, your pelvis is in a misalignment because the belt's too tight, it's pulling it out like this, right? It's causing you to stick your ass out, and that's why your chest will be up, and so forth. And from there, it's incredibly hard to drive your glutes in. Your hips are too far out. But let's explain this another way. So, the big problem, a lot of guys will depend too much on the belt. And what happens with time, they misunderstand how to breathe. Because a belt is fantastic for increasing intra-abdominal pressure, sometimes we forget to breathe, to have that 3D diaphragm. So I'll explain. When you breathe and when you deadlift, I'm talking about bracing the core, right? You gotta breathe from here, laterally, and also from the rear, right? You're expanding 3D. But a lot of times when guys will wear a belt and they put it on, all they do is they breathe from the front. So they take a big belly breath, like this, and it throws, because the belt's tight, it's applying pressure, it throws it out like this. So you're extending too much with the lower back. Now, instead of your glutes doing the work, your lower back does more of the work. So in a way, if you breathe incorrectly, and if you wear your belt perhaps too tight, it can actually make your lower back do more work and thus put at risk for injury. So, what do you want to do? And if you're finding you get lower back pain, what's probably the problem and what's the solution? It's simple. When you go to go down, you want to make sure, Sturette will say, you want to make sure you're stacked, right? Your spinal column. From here, like this, where they're parallel. And when you come down, you brace the core. So you take that big diaphragm breath from here and also from back here. You should be able to, with your thumbs, from here, if you have your thumbs back here, you should be able to expand when you take a breath. That's how you know you're getting that 3D diaphragm. So, once you have that expansion here, what I like to do is squeeze the glutes before I descend. Why? Because if you're in a misalignment, if your hips are out like this, if your pelvis, if you look here, right, even, watch this, tilt it out. You see that? That's how a lot of times when guys, whether they wear a belt, deadlift, or on a squat, they'll tilt their pelvis first, throw it up in misalignment, and put their lower back at that risk. So, what you want to do, brace first, brace, brace, right, tight now, and what you do, you squeeze the glutes, and then you push back. What's going to happen as you push back, your glutes, you're gonna lose that tightness, that squeeze, but that initial squeeze will help make sure your pelvis is in proper alignment. So watch here, glutes being squeezed like this. So you brace, right here, you push back, 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 you set down and then you deadlift. Doing it this way will allow your back, lower back, to function as it should and allow your glutes to do its job, hip extension. So just to wrap it up, not to make this too long of a video, because I know you got deadlift. If you're experiencing lower back problems, it's prob while wearing this, while wearing one of the belts, it's probably because you're doing it wrong, right? It's probably you're wearing it too tight and you're breathing incorrectly and that incorrect breath is actually forcing you right now to get into that alignment, that misalignment, right? From here, we're, we breathe we're like, oh, like that, and automatically the pressure of the belt will pull you back like so. So you want to make sure you take that 3D breath, apply that intra-abdominal pressure from all around, not just from the front. That's the biggest belt mistake. I'll put it even another way. You should be able to lift safely with your one rep max about 90% without a belt. So if you do 550, you should easily be able to deadlift 500 pounds no problem without a belt. If you can't, it's probably once again you have improper breathing patterns you've developed while wearing a belt and this can be a problem later on. And that's probably why you're experiencing lower back problems. So just remember, you want to brace, you want to make sure your glutes are flexed before you descend down so you're in proper alignment and then you lift. A lot of times what I'll tell guys if they're experiencing pain, they're probably doing 
doing all their max effort sets with a belt, consider working up 75%, 80% without a belt to make sure you're doing the proper movement, bracing your core. And when you do that, you'll notice a difference. You'll notice you'll be stronger, you'll notice it'll be easier to get tight, and you'll feel more power off the bottom, and your back won't be fucked up. So, that's all I had to say about this topic right here, how wearing a belt actually can be bad for your lower back. If you improperly breathe because it's too tight, right, you're wearing it like so, and constantly doing that can ingrain improper patterns. Now, excuse me guys, I gotta, <laughs> I'm not talking about deadlifts, let's face it, nobody wants to deadlift, we just wanna do some calves. I gotta get back to doing some calf raises, so this has been it, this is the video, if you like the video, make sure to like my shit, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in the next video. Peace!